Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnesswinner.com and today I have a very effective, very short seven minute workout for you. The only thing you need is your body weight and a chair. I haven't included a warm up or a cool down so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do one of each of those on your own. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. We'll be doing each one of these exercises for 30 seconds with a 10 second rest in between each. So this is a very quick transition. We're starting off with jumping jacks. We'll get your feet moving. Here we go. All right, so this is a very quick workout, so if you're going to make it count, you have to be pushing yourself the entire time. Like I said, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you warm up before you do this, even just a few minutes of jogging in place can be the trick. Otherwise, move quick, keep your movements strong and sharp, and push yourself through every active interval to the very end if you can. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, here's our rest. Keep your feet moving even during that active rest. Next up, we have wall sits. So if you don't have an open wall, you can do like I'm going to do and just drop into a static squat. So right here, feet shoulder width apart, and just stay right here. If, you're, if you have an open wall, just lean up against it, same thing. Try to keep most of your weight in your heels so you can, you can technically wiggle your toes if you want to. Helps you make sure that you're really targeting your glutes. Stick your butt out, keep your back flat, just stay here. Make sure you're not holding your breath. It's a really easy thing to do. Stay low if you can, two seconds. All right, here's our active rest. Next up, we have push-ups. Take a nice deep breath. So you can do the hard version or the easy version. I'm gonna go off of my knees, otherwise, right here. Keep your stomach pulled in. Your back flat. Try not to round your shoulders. Try to put your part of the floor ahead of you to look at. Under 10 seconds, keep it going. All right, next up we're doing a crunch. So we'll lay on your back. upwards make sure you're not using any momentum you should be in control of your body the entire time so nice and slow crunch up let it burn for a second and drop back down if you have your hands here make sure you're not pulling on your neck too hard try to keep your elbows out so they're not in your field of vision keep it going two all right, now, you got that chair handy. We're gonna be doing step ups, so we're gonna make sure we're alternating so that a different leg is leading each time. Here we go, so step up, up, down, and then go right back up with that same leg. It's really important. You wanna develop your muscles equally on each side. So it's a really tiny detail that really adds up over time. Pick up the pace if you want. squats. Three, two, one. So feet shoulder width apart, sink down, press back up through your heels. So stick your butt out, sink down as low as you can control, only as low as you can control, then press back up through your heels. Fifteen seconds left. tricep dips. So go back to that chair. You're going to be putting your hands, your weight in your hands. So right here, feet out for the hardest version. Keep your elbows directly behind you and lower yourself down. If you want to make it easier, come right here. Make sure you're still breathing. Ten seconds. Next up, we have a plank. All right. Oh, looks like we're over high. 
halfway done with this already. Three, two, one. All right, so try to make a straight line from your shoulders to your toes. Try not to get your butt up in the air. Try not to let it sag. You want it right in the middle. If at any point you start to burn out, your form starts to suffer, just stop, rest here for a second. Go back up when you feel stronger. Two, one. All right. Quick rest. Next up, we have high knees. Just four more active intervals here. Here we go. So as fast as you can, get your knees as high as you can. Focus on landing soft. You don't want to be you want to be nice and graceful if you can. It takes more effort to be graceful. Halfway done. Five seconds. Ooh. All right, next up, we have alternating lunges. Drop down right between the distance of between those two feet. Keep your torso upright. Pull in your belly. Try to keep the weight evenly dispersed between those two feet. Plus a rotation. Go ahead and drop down. <clears throat> so drop down for a push up, turn, and rotate. Again, do the hardest version of this that you can. So go up on your knees if you have, or sorry, on your toes if you have the strength for it. Upper body strength is something I'm really struggling with, something I'm always working on. for 30 seconds. So there's a couple different ways you can do this to make it easier and harder. But this is the easier way. Right here. But if you want to make it harder, keep your weight in your feet and hold the full uh, plank the length of your body. Try to make sure that your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. 10 seconds left. And go down to the easier version if you get too tired. Just five seconds. Two, one. All right, switch sides. This is our last active interval. We're already done with this. Under this last side plank. <laughs> so remember, easier version here. If you feel strong, step up to the full. So seven minutes is way, way, way better than no minutes. So if you're very busy and you don't have a lot of time for exercise, something like this can be a way to work. Little bits of activity in your day. Five seconds left. All right, and just like that, we are already finished. Make sure to do a cool down and stretch on your own and drink lots of water when you're done with this. Good job, guys. This workout is complete.